Hi guys, in this tutorial we are going to learn what is a macro and a component in Tecla. To use a component, click on the application and component on the right side or press Ctrl plus F for shortcut. Search for the component you require and follow the instruction in the command prompt to draw a component. Here it advises us to pick a point. Pick the point to create the component. Let me demonstrate by adding one more component. Follow the instruction to add the component. Turn on the required options for component in selection filter and double click on the component to modify the component in the dialog box that appears. You can browse the tab and modify individual part of the components. For example, here I will change the anchor rods to bolts. Modify all the changes required. Select the component and click modify to apply the changes. You can also save the macro by typing in a name and clicking on save as button to save the command. Or you can load one by choosing the component settings from the drop down if required. Likewise, let me explain by modifying some of the options in the share connections provided. Choose the desired changes either by providing a values in the options available or by choosing it from the drop down. After modifying all the changes, select the component and click modify to apply the changes. Now let me draw a macro and demonstrate. Here I have used a bridging macro. The difference between the component and a macro is that in a component you can find a green triangle when selected known as the component symbol and in a macro you can find a small m symbol. Clicking on that symbol will open a dialog box. Modify the changes from the tabs available. You can modify by typing in a value or choosing from the drop down. Modify the changes and click on the macro parts and click modify to apply the changes. Now let me demonstrate one more macro known as auto bolts. Let me increase the number of bolts. In normal bolt conditions, you have to add two bolts for the two separate beams. Using the macro, I connected both the members in a single command. That's it guys, we have seen how to add a macro and a component and modify them. See you at next session.